Hello students, welcome to the class. Now in this video, I am going, going to discuss some more examples on modular arithmetic which have been asked in question papers. Let us discuss examples on different equations. Okay, find the general solution of the equation 39x minus 56y equal to 11. This is the example on different equation, linear different equations. Okay, already. We have those videos in my channel. If you want the basics of linear dependent equation, just go through them. Now, whenever you see this equation, they ask you to find general solution. Just you have to observe the equation. It should be in the form of ax plus by equal to c. Then we call them as a linear dependent equation. Okay. So, given 39x minus 56y equal to 11 is a linear Diffantine equation. Which is of the form ax plus by equal to c. Okay. So here a is 39, b is minus 56 and c is 11. Okay. So here a is 39, b is minus 56 c equal to 11 when you compare this with the standard Diffantine equation. Okay. Now next is to find GCD of 39 and 56 using Euclidean algorithm. Okay. By Euclid's algorithm. What is that? Divide 56 by 39. So what happens? 39 1s are 56 minus 39, 17. Again, divide 39 by 17. 17 2s are 34. So here it is 5 reminder. Then divide 17 by 5. 5 3s are 15. So reminder 2. Divide 5 by 2. 2 2s are 4. Reminder is 1. Divide 2 by 1, 1, 2 is 2, is 0. Okay. So, non-zero remainder is what? 1. This is our GCD. Okay. So, GCD of 3956 is equal to 1. This is our D. And what the condition say? The given equation has a solutions that D must divide C. Okay. Now, D is 1. 1 divides C. Okay, and D divides C, that is 1 divides 11. So, this implies a key. Equation, that is a given equation as solution. Then only we can proceed further. Once you have this, then now use the division algorithm. So, from division algorithm, what is the division algorithm? To remind, uh, express the reminder. Okay. Division algorithm R is equal to what? R is equal to B minus A into Q. So now our least reminder is what now? 1. Okay. 1 can be expressed as. Now we have to go in a reverse order. So 1 equal to B is 5 minus A into Q. That is 2 into our aim is to find x and y. Okay. Now, 5 minus 2 into. Now, 2 can be expressed as. Again, 2 taken as a. This 2 is taken as a reminder. Then here, that is a reminder. Expression of this 2 in terms of 17 and 5 and 3. Okay. It is 17 minus 3 into 5. So, it is 5 minus 2 times 17 plus 6 times 5. Okay. Now you have 1 times 5 and 6 times 5. Total 7 times 5 minus 2 times 17. Now 7 times we can express 5. So 5 as a reminder here. It is 39 minus 2 into 
17. Okay, minus. Minus 2 into 17, we have this here. <coughs> so, this is equal to 7 into 39 minus 14 into 17 minus 2 into 17. So, it is 7 into 39 minus 16 into 17. Again, you can express now. You can express 17 now. Yes, 17. 17 can be expressed as 56 minus 1 into 39. Okay. So, it is 7 into 39 minus 16 into 56 minus into minus plus 16 into 39. So, 7 plus 16 is 23 into 39 minus 16 into 56. That is 1 equal to this 23 into 39 minus 16 into 56. But what is our equation? In our equation, given equation, LH, RHS is 11. So, we want to express in that form. Okay. Therefore, multiply by that 11. So, multiplying by 11, what will we get? We will get 11 equal to 253 into 39, 23 into 11 minus 16 into 11 minus 176 into 56. So what it implies? This is, that is x naught. 253 is x naught and y naught is 176. Now, just observe this with your given equation. What is your given equation? Given equation is 39x minus 56y equal to 11. Okay. In place of 11, we have 11. In place of 39, we have 39 s. Then in place of x, we have 253, that is x naught. Now in place of minus 56 y. So minus 56, we have minus 56. Okay. Therefore, y is 176. That's why we took positive 176. Okay. Now, once it is over, then the general solution, you can write the general solution is they asked you to find general solution. The general solution is, they have, we have a standard formula. What is that? x1 equal to x0 plus b by d into t, comma y1 equal to y0 minus a by d into t. Okay. So, this implies, what is the formula? x1 equal to x0 is 253. What is B? Already we have written in here. Okay. B is minus 56. A is 39. And D is 1. Okay. We are going to use this. Okay. Now, 253. B is minus 56. So, minus 56 T because D is 1. Okay. And Y1 is 176. That is Y naught. 176 minus A is 39T. Again, uh, D is 1. Therefore, it is only 39T. So, this is the required general solution of a given Diophantine equation. Next example, find the general solution of 4x plus 51y equal to 9. Okay. So, moving the process. Same way, that is given 4x plus 51y equal to 9 is in the form of ax plus by equal to c. Okay, is a linear Diophantine equation. So, it is of the form ax plus by equal to c. So, here a is 4, B is 51, 
C is 9. Now, what is our aim? Our aim is to find GCD. So, GCD of 4 and 51. What we are going to do now? We are finding this using Euclid's algorithm. So, by Euclid's algorithm, Four divided by fifty-one. Okay, twelve fours are forty-eight. So then, what is the remainder? Remainder will be three. Then three divides four. Then three ones are three. Remainder is one. Then one divided by three. One three is a three equal to zero. Therefore, non-zero remainder is one. So it is one. So it is, that is our D. Therefore, D divides C. C is what? 9. That is C. That is 1 divides 9. This implies given equation has solution. This is compulsory that you have to confirm this. Okay. Once you find GCD, then we use you, uh, division algorithm okay by division algorithm because our aim is to now find x and y by division algorithm r is equal to b minus a into q least remainder is 1 so b equal to sorry r equal to 1 so then b is 4 4 minus a into Q. 1 into 3. Next, 4 as it is, 1 into 3. Here 3. 3 can be expressed as, as a reminder it is 51 minus 12 into 4. Okay. Here, how you have to choose this? Whether we have to write it as 12 into 4 or 4 into 12. Just observe your equation. Here we have 4 and 51. We want to express in that form. Okay, that's why I have written 12 into 4. Now open the bracket. 1 into 4. 4 nothing but 1 into 4 minus 1 into 51 plus 12 into 4. So this is 1, uh, 1 plus 12. 13 into 4 minus 1 into 51. This is equal to 1. Okay. Now, this is in the form of, uh, we have to express this in the form of our given equation. Our given equation is 4x plus 51y equal to 9. In the RHS, we have 9. That's why multiply by 9. So, multiplying by 9. We get what happens now? LHS it is here 9 equal to 13 into 9. So it is 117 into 4 minus 13, sorry, minus 9. You are multiplying with 9 into 51. So this implies when you compare this with your original equation, then x naught is 117, y naught is here we have plus 51, that's why y naught is minus 9. Hence, the general solution. The general solution is x1 equal to x naught plus b by d t y1 equal to y naught minus a by d into t. So, x1 equal to 117b by d. What is b? Already we have written here. So b is 51, a is 4 and d is 4. Therefore, x1 is 117 plus b is 51. So it is 117 plus 51t and y1 one is minus 9 a is plus 4, so it's minus here. 
minus a by d. So minus 4 by 1. So minus 4 into t. Or you can write x1 equal to 117 plus 51t and y1 equal to minus 9 plus 4t as the general solution of given Diffantine equation. This is how to solve the find the general solution of given Diffantine equations. Okay. In the next video, I am going to solve some more examples on linear congruences which have been asked in question papers. Till then keep practicing. If you have any doubts, do comment in the comment box. If you are not yet subscribed my channel, do subscribe. Till then take care. Thank you.